every day matters. Every day that you have is a gift from the Lord. It's a day that matters, and it's an opportunity to love Jesus and love others. On Sunday mornings, uh, we serve 6th, 7th, and 8th graders in the Jason Williams Activity Center, the old gym called the JWAC. When they come in, they find the table that has their age or the grade they're, they're in and their gender. They will sit at that table for a large group session. Over your thoughts. And then after our opening session, we send them into small groups based on grade and, and gender. And we would encourage our students on a, a two-fold basis. Is one, uh, to be in worship with your parents in a large group setting, whether that's the lift or our blended service. We also offer life groups on the back side of that to be in that community of believers where you can openly talk about God's Word. You have accountability there. Something goes down on a Tuesday and church is not meeting until Sunday, but you got a life group that says, man, I can reach out to my life group leader here. I find it on a weekly basis, college students and young adults coming up to me that are seeking godly advice, uh, wanting wisdom for situations that they're going through. A college student that may be at a university that is away from home, or even a young professional that has moved into Charlotte, which is such a transient city that changes. And when you get to this age, it's no longer your parents' faith, it's no longer the church's faith, it's your faith. Right now is the time where you're developing uh, who you're going to be 10 years from now, who you're going to be 20 years from now. A lot of adults, they fear that they're not scholars, but one of the main things is just being consistent to be to know students' names, to be in relationship with them. I love for a sophomore guy, per se, to be able to walk into his life group and every single week he sees that sophomore teacher that's there. Frank Carter taught me from ninth grade through 12th grade. Eight o'clock, life groups, he was my life group leader every single Sunday. And there were not many Sundays that Frank was not there. Last year, uh, Frank texted me and said, hey man, I got something for you. And I drove over to his house and sat on his front porch with him and he gave me a St. Louis Cardinal hat. I think the ministry of presence is such a big deal. Everybody is just having a if you would have told me five years ago that I would be in this position, I'd say you're crazy. I serve on staff with some of just people that I've looked up to my whole entire life, uh, whether it be an Alvin Summers or a Preacher Mike or a Steve Strickland who was my middle school pastor. You got uh, folks that are like Justin who serves in high school ministry, Nate, the young adults ministry, Eli down on East Campus. Those three guys have have always been that way. It's because of Christ that's the case. And our calling and our privilege is to point students to Him, not to us. And I think that's one of the biggest issues, is people think that we have to be perfect. Nobody is. That's why Jesus was perfect for us. And so we just point students to Him. Stop by our table on Main Street or visit us online at fbcit.org serve.